Action. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video here on our channel, Juice and Toys. Welcome back, guys. All right, so today we're gonna take you through a lower body stretch, specifically the hamstrings, hip flexors, and adductors. Yep. So we've realized that, you know, throughout quarantine, throughout the lockdown, a lot of us are sitting a lot. We're not as active. We're lounging around. We're on our Zoom meeting, meetings. Working from home. Exactly. Sitting. Exactly. So specifically the hamstrings, hip flexors, those are the ones that tend to be tight, right? So this is something that you can do in the mornings um, when you wake up. And this is also something you can do before you go to bed just to kind of increase your flexibility over time. Yep. And even if you're not working from home necessarily, or you may not be in quarantine anymore, um, if you've got a long commute to work, if you're a student sitting all day, um, this is also something that will be really beneficial to you just to loosen up yeah. those hip flexors. If you're having some lower back pain, knee pain, a lot of times if you're sitting all day, that can come from tightness in some of those muscles. So this will be beneficial for you even if you're not just sitting at home, but just sitting in general all day. Exactly. So we're specifically going to take you through five simple stretches that you can do anytime. Yep. So we'll start off by doing five reps of each exercise okay. or each stretch. Yep. Okay. So first we'll lay flat on our back. Okay. We'll have one leg extended. Okay. We're going to hug one leg through the hamstring. Okay. So what we're going to do is pull that knee to our chest and we're going to try to extend that leg up to the sky. Okay. So this is an active hamstring stretch. This is great if you're really tight like me and you need to open up the hamstrings, especially before a workout. Um, this is a, a really good stretch. So really try to extend that leg up to the ceiling and press your heel up to the sky. Okay, so we'll do a couple more. Okay. All right, then we're gonna switch sides. Oh, this one's tighter. And also that leg that's down, really try to keep it flat on the ground. Try not to let it elevate. All right, one more here. Okay. All right, so we are going to now move into a hip flexor stretch with also getting your hamstrings in there. So we're gonna start in a kneeling position, okay? And we're going to start by squeezing the glute of the leg that's back mm -hmm. and pushing that front knee forward, okay? So you should feel a nice stretch in your hip flexor. Exactly. Okay, so about three or four seconds there. Now we're gonna shift back. Okay, and really extend to the hamstring. And if you want to grab that foot, if you can, yep. that will enhance the stretch. But if not, you can grab that ankle, but really try to pull your chest towards your knee yep. and then we'll shift right back into the hip flexor. Okay, so every rep with each one of these exercises, you want to try to get more um, reach, more of a stretch in every one. Okay. And when you push forward, try to keep your heel pressed against the ground, really. Exactly. Try to get into the hip flexor and then pull back and really feel a stretch in your hamstrings. Yep. Okay, a couple more. This is one of my favorite stretches that I like to do uh, specifically before like a lower body workout. It's just a good way to kind of open up both at the same time. All right, last one back. Okay, and then we'll okay. switch. Okay, switch sides. All right, so same thing. Squeeze that bottom leg glute to where you can stay extended and we'll shift forward. Okay, and then go back.
All right, couple more. We'll shift. All right, and last time forward. I try to get deep on that last rep. And stand. And as you're doing these, you might find that you open up more as you're going. So if you need to add a couple more reps in there, yep. do that. Okay. All right, so by now you should be feeling a little bit more loose than when you started. Yep. So next, now we're gonna face to the side, okay? So we're gonna have one leg perpendicular to the opposite leg, right? So one leg should be facing forward and the opposite leg should be facing perpendicular to the other one, okay? So what we're gonna do is a, it's getting into the hip flexor, but it's also an adductor stretch. Yep. So what we're gonna do is shift our weight, okay? Toward that foot, but you also wanna keep your hips pressed forward, okay? That's gonna ensure you get a nice stretch through the adductor there. And okay? also some hip flexor on the opposite oh. side too. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, so we'll do about five reps again for each of these. Okay. So again, try to get deeper and deeper every rep. And try to keep your body square to the wall. Okay. All right. All right. Okay, now we are just going to Turn that foot to where the toe, instead of facing forward, we're gonna now try to face, well, I guess now we're facing forward to our body instead of facing exactly. out, Exactly, so extend that <laughs> leg out. Yep, and then you wanna try to keep your foot flat on the ground here, okay? Then we're going to sit back and try to sit onto your heel, okay? If you need a little bit of assistance, you can also keep your hands on the ground for here. For the tight people like me, <laughs> okay? And then, and then we'll you wanna sit up. And forth just like that. If you want more of a stretch, feel free to move that foot further up. Yes. So if you bring your heel away and above from your knee, you'll get a little bit more of a stretch. Okay, a couple more. Okay, we'll switch sides. So again, point that toe out and away, okay? And we're just gonna shift our weight toward that toe. This is a good stretch to kind of give you some freedom within your hips. So if you do sit a lot throughout the day and experience back pain, then this is a good stretch. Yep. Okay. So, so now we're going to go back into sitting back into the heel. So we're going to turn that toe to face forward and sitting back. So again, if you want a little bit of a deeper stretch, just bring that heel forward a little bit more. So it's right in front of your knee. Exactly. So for the last and final stretch, we're gonna get into Indian style. Okay, so this is where I struggle. My hips are really tight, but this is a great stretch, active stretch. Okay, so yep. what we're gonna do is try to stay nice and tall, really pull your heels as far as you can. And what we're gonna do is as we're extending one leg out, we're gonna press the opposite hip down, right? So we're gonna reach, extend. If you can grab that foot, Okay, and extend out, do so. But if it, you're a little tight, you can grab that ankle. Okay, and we're just gonna actively pull that heel in and then extend the opposite side. Yep. Okay, so we're as you're extending, make sure you're really pushing that opposite hip away. Exactly. So consider All this a two in one here. stretch. Yeah. Okay. So 
we'll go about five each side here. Okay. Try to keep yourself as tall as you can. You might feel a few <sighs> cracks, you know? That's totally normal, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Right. Last one. Ooh. Okay. All right. So, that, so yep. hopefully you feel a lot looser than when you first started the video. Yes. Uh, we hope you like the stretch. If you like it, please give us a thumbs up on the video. Yep. Um, this is something, again, that you can do, you know, in the mornings. Um, when you wake up, it's a great way to start your day. You're not even loose, yep. especially before a workout. Yeah. Um, this is, these are great stretches that you can do. Yep. So remember, if you're sitting all day, um, try to take, you know, even just a few minutes and run through, you know, these stretches or any stretches that are opening up the hips to help alleviate any pain or prevent any pain. Um, and keep you nice and loose. For sure. Thank you for joining us for another video and yes. we will see you back at the next one.